of people. Ooh, I need to change. Well, now uh, Justin, now uh, Justin just needs to get on roll twenty. Oh, that's true. He's getting there. I bet. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. And then when we get we get done with session tonight, I have a new game to play. Scarlet Nexus. I'm sad. What's it about? Um, you know, uh, Code Vein. It's it, it's like a Dark Souls light game. Oh, okay. Um, with um, there you are. I actually get to see you. Um. I like I'm not like a hundred percent sure about everything because I just played the demo the other day, but it it's like the combat and everything is really nice. It's very um, slasher and techno and stuff. So that sounds like cyberpunk. Yes, but done better. Oh, ooh, nice. I was able to uh, get the deluxe edition. Ooh, look at you rolling. Right. I ordered two new sets of dice. I ordered a key fob for my keys. That is a nice leather band, and it actually says Warlock on it. I found an Etsy. Oh. I finally get to play my favorite, my favorite class, so it's like... <laughs> I'm happy. And soon to be two games. Mm hmm. I finally uh, get to play. <laughs> you play, you still play, you play on Wednesdays. Sometimes. <laughs> um, this is going to be two weeks in a row that, that, that I'm playing this, except I'm, we're, we're doing a much more authentic version of the travel between. Um, uh, Baldur's Gate and Waterdeep. We're only six days in. It took us two hours. Uh, what did you think of that uh, video I sent you in? Yeah. I thought it was funny. At what it's these days of their TikTok. What level do uh, warlocks get their invocations? Or uh, second level. Second level. That's when you get your uh, first one. Uh, you get two at first, at uh, second level. Okay. Um, Character blend? And then, as, as you level up certain, um, depending on what pack you take, certain uh, invocations open up. I think you could swap them out each level or every time you level or something like that? Yep, every level you can change your invocations. And every time you get an ASI, you can choose to either like change cantrip, change like your pact. Something else with Eldrick uh, versus him. Uh, or it change one of your spells for your Mystic Arcana. Oh my god. <clears throat> the Steam summer sale is about to fucking eat my wallet. Oh my god. Oh, uh, Justin, I'll let you know. Um, we ordered some G Fuel today. 
And one of the things I was able to order is the trial packs of the strawberry shortcake. <gasps> Send them to me. Well, I will try them, and then if what I think, depending on what I think about it, then I'll. I'll... Can you try some the of them... coffee? No. I'm hesitant on some of those as, like, it's either going to be really good or terrible. Just because of the fact of, like, I don't want to spend, like, 30 bucks on something that ends up being terrible. That's why it's like, hey, it's five bucks for three three packs. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. I got. I looked through that one video. The one video. God, that that council like was so long ago. Like in IRL. I think it was my first session. Yeah, it was the beginning of March. I was still playing WoW. Ugh. <laughs> Which means I was still playing WoW. <laughs> yeah. Then somebody decided, oh, we're going back to Final Fantasy XIV. Then, during some, uh, I think it was extended maintenance for a while, I'm like, eh, why don't I try it? I popped into that. Left. And you never looked back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was pretty much just all, like, you know, did the expansion. And then I was just doing it 36 times. <laughs> the leveling. You know, I had goals. I I I, well, I technically still have goals in WoW. I just right now I started a brand spanking new game and I needed to get up to eighty. Do you know how many class jobs I have at eighty right now? Four. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, one of them only needed twenty levels. The other only needed thirty. <laughs> And then one that only needed 50, and the other one I did 50, or, or full, full 80. So if anyone here doesn't own Skyrim, it's on sale for 20 bucks. <laughs> I literally think PC is the only, the only version I don't ha own, like, I haven't owned a copy of. I literally, for everything else, 360, PS3, PS4, Xbox One, like, everything I've owned, and I think I... No, sorry. I don't think I have one on the Switch. I can't tell you how many time, how long I, how many hours I played, really I played into that game since it first came out. Fuck, I remember the, when the expansions came out. I was happy about Dragonborn. All right, let's play some D and D. Hold on, I'm looking up Skyrim uh, Sky right here. It's not giving me one well, because it's giving me some. Elder Scrolls. Actually, I think I am going to do. I think someone's fan is falling into it. It, it was probably it, it was probably mine. <laughs> Our AC takes a while to. Um, all I'm gonna say is, if it is me, I apologize. But if I do not have the fan running my life will end and you will no longer have the wizard. <laughs> yeah, I, I get... It's so hot here. And our house is shit, so... Just be glad you're not in Texas. What was your guys' hide today? Use Canadian 27? terms so I know, it, I know it, it's not gibberish. So, tell it in Fahrenheit. 
97 degrees. It only has feet by a little bit. We're like in the night. I was in the low, we're in the low 90s. 36. I think we got up to like the low 90s. Disgusting. So apparently the formula for, to figure out Fahrenheit to Celsius is to take Fahrenheit, subtract 32, multiply by 5, and divide by 9. That seems or like a lot. I could just Google Fahrenheit to Celsius. Well, I did. <laughs> but it also showed me the formula. Of how it got that number. So for some reason, you don't have any access to anything it says. You can do the math in your head. But still... If you don't have access to anything, I am sorry. Right, so moving on. Let's play some D&D. All right. So previously in Bears and Dragons. Uh, you're back! Everyone's okay. back. Some people have stopped. Uh, some um, people have stopped being in the group due to our, our poor choices being made. And we got some new players. Or at least a uh, new player. Character. Character player, yeah. Um, uh, but now, now that everyone is back, and the eyes of Io, the Iod, Iodron, Iodon chapter are going back to Io. Uh, we have a new, new chapter, the Toro chapter, led by Krebus. Considering Krebus is now like a thousand and forty years old, or, or thirty something years old, um, even though it's he was only like thirty something like a day ago. When you travel the plains, time gets weird. Uh, Layden is now an ancient dragon. Because he traveled with his, with his papa to save his friends. Uh, and uh, they had spent a thousand years. So, so we got our cleric, uh, Krebus. We definitely have a paladin to go with him. Um, and it, it just happens that they're, that he's also Paladin of Io. He's also an ancient dragon, which is just a weird, just like a weird coincidence. Because Bamoon, who's the, was the Paladin of the, the I drawn chapter, uh, was also a Paladin of Bahamut. Um, uh, but all he had was wings. He wasn't actually... That's the kind of the only difference. Um, and they are in the process of, but they want to make sure that everybody gets established. So they haven't quite left yet. Also, they kind of want to make sure they're informing that the people they've been talking to, that now Rebus will be the, the, the head of the chapter. And uh, Court is staying behind uh, to help keep you guys geared up. Uh, being able to repair gear, or, you know, keep you equipped. Um, Lifter, of course, is staying behind because Gordon is staying, staying behind. They're just a pair. Uh, Jordan is staying behind for reasons. Take a brown cow. And that's about it. Um, Eddie, I believe, is sticking around, but he's not actually like on active duty. That's a uh, Ed Edward Hopper. Ooh. Uh, I believe Fitch is continuing his pilgrimage. I suppose, right? Yep. Redemption. Um. Percy was like, okay, my job's done. I'm going to go back to Cavorty. Yeah. And so 
Krebus, after performing this mass resurrection spell, or being one of the four people who participated in it, and, and Kriv end up going, just basically, they end up going to their room and, and crashing. Uh, Layden kind of helps a uh, wobbly Zindralov to his room, and he kind of like makes the rounds, make sure everybody is do that. making sure everybody's uh, uh, fine and hunky dory. Um, being the devoted uh, son of uh, son of his parents, uh, when he goes up to uh, see how they're doing, he sees them crashed in bed, and he pops into his dragon wormling form and curls up in bed with him. Squall and Jorn uh, return to Squall's bottle. I need to say more. Uh, Catherick, would you? You're exhausted. Just Becoming resurrection. You also had an experience in the afterlife. So tell me something. Do you plop somewhere and just kind of like smile? Yeah. Smiles. Drifts off to sleep wherever he plops. Uh, Cyrus, um, yes. you, you've woken up to, uh, see your baby girl in her, um, uh, her dragon, dragonborn, black dragonborn child, child, Uvra, uh, but again, you may not have realized how tiring being resurrected is. So while she starts, she seeing you breathe and your eyes open and say hi or or something, she starts writing off everything that's happened since since you've been gone. And all excited that that you're back. But if as your eyes start to like droop just because you're you're tired. <laughs> she goes, oh, oh, let, let, let me take you to bed. And she pops into her dragon wormling form. Uh, uh, kind of like helps scoots you onto her to her back, and uh, takes you to uh, where she left the the uh, secret layer entrance, and goes oh. in and takes you to the room. Because it, it, some of the things she's saying, she's she's talking this entire time um, about everything about like the book she's read while well, at uh, Candlekeep, and and she's taking taking you you to bed and um, pops you onto your pile of books. And uh, she says, okay, daddy, you, you go to sleep. Uh, by the way, Highbury has so many more books. I don't know where <laughs> they came from. I do. <laughs> okay, well, you sleep. And she curls up around you because she's bigger than you are. Mm -hmm. And says, you sleep well, daddy. Oh, we're level thirteen now, right? Yes, we're at yes. level thirteen. Okay, I need to level up two levels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I need to. Am I rolling Magnus's HP, or we're just doing the seven? Uh, just do the seven. Okay. I mean, he has plot armor, so I don't know if that's really gonna do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Although it is fun to just like, like pop a uh, a familiar. So we'll see what happens with that. Um. Uh, yeah. Uh, the moon seemed to to stay behind with Leon. Um, and they're essentially preparing Gizli. Uh, for moving into to take to the temple of Car to the um, that portion of Waterdeep I can't forget what it is the city of the dead um, in order to be interred. Uh, but uh, he's still here for right now. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, Frederica and Chatant were really tired too. Uh, Chatant pops into his uh, the Veldelkin form and they go off to bed as well. Not as utterly necessarily. Although it's just kind of like mother and child uh, sleeping in the same room sort of thing. And uh, the night goes by without incident because, well, you're pretty much in a safe place. Oh, there's incidents. There's incidents. The bottle does wobble on wherever it's sitting right now. Uh, the morning uh, comes up and Squall, you, you, your eyes open and you see this like little serpent next to this Ifrit. You've never seen in a fr seen. He seems familiar, but you don't remember an Ifrit being in your bottle before. And he goes, "Oh my gosh, it's gotten hot in here." Uh, and then you definitely recognize. Oh, this is your this is your patron. Just for some reason, yeah. he's at a freak now. Oh, arrows. Oh, of course. You look a little different. Well, uh, Devosa and I just wanted to check on our two favorite cup, our favorite couple. Guys are so cute together. Um, you hear a snort come from um, Jordan, who's still sleeping. There's... Be quiet. Oh, sorry. Oh, don't worry, he should be up already. So it's this little, like, serpent dragon thing next to him. She's... Obviously, it's an avatar of Devosa. Don't worry, he can sleep through anything. Trust me, I've tried waking him sometimes and just can't. I have to do the dream thing. And even then, he still sleeps for several hours afterwards. Anyways, I hope you're having fun. I think you should stick around because I think you'll get a lot of money from this. Besides, you'll be helping to vote those people out. Is this a suggestion or another one of those favors? It is definitely a favor. And he kind of like gives you a slight glare like, don't you even dare go against me. All right. I, I figured as much since you didn't say anything before. But, um... Devosa says, uh, Devosa says, don't worry, I'm making sure George sticks around to you, so... Thank you. Yeah, he might even stay here. Nothing's actually barring him from moving. Anyways, we'll let you two, two get on to it. By the way, you should see what the Loxodon is doing. Impressive. And he vanishes along with the Vosa. Quick question. Mm -hmm. I'm going through the leveling up, and there's a feat called Aberrant Dragon Mark. What is that? An Aberrant Dragon Mark. That's a kind of something from Eberron. It's you get a dragon mark without being in your dragon mark house, and it can do various things, like a That's tattoo. Really That's really cool. Sorry, that was just a question that I had. No, that's okay. Trust me, I was around to 3.5 in your list. You would like? You're, you're a mini dragon. Just fully read it, because there's some stuff some negativity. I think there's a slight negativity to it, too. Yeah, but you also get the chance of epic boons, which is really fucking cool. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait. I hope we get to 7, like, I can get this character to 17 level. 
I get wish. Same. It's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, I just remembered. I no longer have a pass without a trace. Oh, oh okay. Up. No, he's gonna be like, I'm stealthing away, you fuckers. <laughs> it's like I don't care what you guys. And just disappears. Same. Greater invisibility. <laughs> and, and, and there's your your cleric. Chunk. 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 Uh, yeah, so, so I guess like you, you probably wake up on, on one of the couches just somewhere and, and thank him. Thank him. After Eros left, I now would have the knowledge of Find Familiar, so I'm going to spend an hour to cast that. Or leaving the Kethrick yeah, wakes. Yeah, so. Kethrick wakes up and sees you doing it, and just kind of like watches and just kind of like puts his hands around uh, behind his bed uh, or behind his head, not bed. Uh, and the 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 sheet falls, so it's like just below his his belly belly and oh, and his pseudo dragon just kind of like curl uh, kind of uh, climbs up in the, uh, on his arm and just kind of like looks and they kind of like look at each other and then look and be like and, and raise he raises an eyebrow and just kind of like watches he doesn't say anything just kind of observes <laughs> What is this pseudo dragon coming from? Yeah, I will say like what? <laughs> well, it's Jordan's pseudo dragon. You said Kethrick. Well, I well I said Kethrick. I was going to go to him. Then you started saying things, and okay. so it then spun off from the end. So, <laughs> like, oh, how, you how the hell? <laughs> We're just like, well, just like, when did you get one of those? The confusion came from you. <laughs> Confused. Oh. Oh, Anyways. I... Uh, so, Catherine, you just wake up on a couch somewhere. So, that, that was all I had to say about that. Um, I'll just sit up on the couch, and um, if anyone comes by, I'll just stare at them. Uh, you you see, uh, Rourke looking like he just woke up. He's he's put on the, his trousers, but nothing else. This brass dragonborn kind of walk by, super muscularly, yawning, and he just kind of walks back. He sees you, like staring at him. He goes, he he winks at you. and goes, morning. He goes off into the uh, dining area. And that's all he'll do until he's needed. Just stare and like... <laughs> anybody is like moving by. <laughs> it, um, he's not trying to be creepy. It's just that he doesn't really know what to do. <laughs> um. Uh, I do want to 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 do to say that. Uh, Krebus and Kriv do do wake up, and Layden's still uh, sleeping with them. Kriv is squeezed into Krebus's side because his son is squeezed up on the other side of him. You're kind of being squished between the two, and you hear a yawn coming from behind you. Uh, and you turn around, you, you see a dragon wormling version of Layden uh, waking up, and he. Like does a stretch and kind of pushes against you again, and it pushing against you kind of makes Krebus t- uh, like roll over slightly. Uh, and he um, he then uh, kind of rolls out of bed and turns into his dragonborn form. Uh, puts his armor back on, uh, and. Looks over his shoulder and and um, I'm not sure if you're if you're awake at all Kriv, after all of that. Probably. Okay. He says, 
Oh, sorry, Daddy. Oh, I'm going to go to breakfast. And he starts walking off. Uh, about, about an hour later, uh, Squall uh, now has... Um, well, what do you have? Well, well, you, you spent an hour doing a, a ritual. Well, what appears before you? Oh, um, sorry, I was uh, checking notifications on my phone. Um, now, uh, what sees before you? It's somewhat like a pseudo dragon, but not quite like a, like it, it. You would think it's a pseudo dragon by kind of just from afar, but it's close up. You see that. It's actually on fire. Red uh, tails and all, but it's on fire. It doesn't seem the fire doesn't seem to be doing anything. It's just it's just on fire. I mean, it looks like a pseudo dragon. It acts like a pseudo dragon. It's just it's just it must be on fire. <laughs> it's just, it's just on fire. The brat the brass oh, can control it. Yes. The brass pseudo dragon uh, uh, climbs down uh, uh, Jorn and uh, goes up and kind of like inspects this new creature. Uh, uh, he'll be like a little hesitant at first, but then he'll recognize that they're like somewhat similar. And kind of all of a sudden, like, calm down. Uh, you hear behind you, <laughs> Well, Trim ahead. Uh, got the idea for me, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. And then I, I gave it a try, and he is what popped up. He, he, his name is Ragnus. He uh, he bends forward and kind of like crawls to the end of the bed, uh, uh, to the bed, and just kind of like lays in the bed and, uh, and lays his hands hands down, head down on it. So now he's on his on his stomach on top of the sheets, and he he says, oh, "You didn't intend it for, to look that way." No, I just. Well, I, I've never done this spell before, so it, like the instructions kind of just popped into my head on what I needed to do, and um, when I was done, he's gorgeous, and I'm very happy that he's here. Well, but wasn't your, wasn't your patron a gin? Yeah. Oh, you were asleep for that. Uh, yeah. Um. Eros and your patron, I'm already forgetting his name. Um, Devosa. Her. Devosa. Squall knew that. Dustin forgot. Yeah, that's um, right. <laughs> I figured uh, it was Yeah, it's one of those. The player knew it. The, P mm -hmm. the player forgot it. The PC knows it all the time. Yeah. Um, mm. Devosa stopped by and checked on us, and um, they're actually happy we're together. Uh, oh, but that's good. no, um, Eros is no longer a djinn. He's uh, there in a freeze. Ah, that would explain it. Yeah, yeah, it explains it, but it's just interesting that Ragnus here took this form. Yeah, well, look at mine. It's brass. Just like Devosa. Where, where is uh your lamp? Good, I good question because I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily have gone to. I guess we could have had. I could, it's probably in Jorn's room. Okay. But yeah, because we would have just gone to Jorn's room and then into my bed, and then had zero gravity sex. Well, not really zero gravity. Well, maybe zero, zero gravity. Levitate. Maybe. No. 
don't know the full logistics, but we'll just say it was zero gravity. Um, uh, yeah. After a hour of just sitting on a couch, watching people just walk by, saying hi to them. Yeah, you see, gonna... you see, Zinderlove passed. It, basically, everybody who's seen past has headed towards the the uh, cafeteria, eating room, dining room, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, he was a uh, uh, Catholic. Whoa. Go to the kitchen and try to find something to eat. Uh, so you go into the kitchen and you see uh, Layden, Rourke, and Bamoon. So you got a brass dragon woman who's Rourke, a gold dragonborn who is Bamoon, and a black dragonborn who is Layden. Well, he's currently a black dragonborn. And they're talking with Zindralov, and, and he's saying, saying so. I think I got this while I was in where I can't remember between the time and I learned this spell called Celestial Stomp and I haven't tried it before and I would literally like to try it but I don't know what the best way to do that would be and the lady goes do you know what it does? Um, something like a an area that squishes people. That sounds awesome. Uh, uh, hmm. And, and he looks over. <laughs> oh, Danny, go ahead. Catherine will just uh, raise his hand, and uh, I can help. Hmm. Oh, because I was going to cast it. It's a pretty powerful spell, though. Um. Okay, I I, well. I think it actually might be better if these three do it. Help me, because it's an area, so I want to kind of like spread them out and everything. Um, but I just want to do it once, and I'll try not to hurt you very much. And they're they're like, okay, let's try. I'm up for anything, says Rook. Or Rook, give me a workout a bit. And Layden says, ha. I bet you I'll beat you out of this. Is, uh, I don't think so, boy. Don't call me boy. I'm over a thousand years old. Are they still and they, in the they, cafeteria? Yeah, well, they, they're standing up and they're starting to walk out. And Zendralob is following them. And they, uh, are he they seem to be heading towards the beach. Is there anything to eat, like, out? Yeah, there's like uh, uh, bread, like toast, and uh, there's like a, a thing of eggs and a pile of pancakes and just a lot of breakfasty stuff. I will try my best to just gather just a, a bunch of uh, bread and uh, try to uh, follow follow them um, just to watch. You basically make yourself a breakfast plate and you're just taking it with you okay so they go out on the beach and uh, uh buren sees them sees them coming up and says uh, maybe we should spread out and says uh, and laning goes yeah you probably better spread out and he it, and bamoon and Rourke look at each other and it's like what does it mean and then they they notice that laden is changing form and they they go whoa and they move out of the way quickly as uh this Six, six and a six and a couple feet inches tall, a uh, black dragonborn turns into a gigantic, ancient black gold. No, what gold? Black and gold dragon. So it's like he's got the features of a black dragon, uh, and he does have some black scales, but his wings look very much like that of the uh, gold dragon. And you hear, ha! He, I told you, I'll, I'll beat you on this. And uh, and Rourke goes, that's cheating. The moon just laughs. All right, and 
All right, we're spread out. How big? How big do you want this to be? Uh, well, I think it's in a thirty foot radius. Okay, and they kind of like adjust so that they're about like so. Bamoon and 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 Rourke are about like you know just just short of thirty feet. So, all right, and he uh, pulls out a staff and he starts muttering an incantation. And he just kind of goes, he just kind of like pull, uh, like pushes down towards the ground with the staff. And you see above the three of them, this giant loxodon foot come crashing down. And each one of them kind of like has to, has to grunt as they feel this this like pressure and it's but the image actually seems to like go through them and dissipates do i and, know what a loxodon is yeah it's a, a elephant man that's what cinder love is so it's basically oh. a giant elephant's foot <laughs> okay uh um catherick will just drop all his food and just clap. <laughs> and they're like, ow! They don't fall or anything. They just they just kind of like have this like pressure on them. And they're like, ow! Oh! Well, that wasn't too bad. Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! You know, that was uh, the, the big... I felt like a ten pound, a thousand pound thing fell on me. Ah, I mean, if you weren't, as, if I wasn't as strong as I were, probably been knocked to the ground. It says, "Ah, oh, that's pretty neat." Thank you. Um, Catholic would start a uh, like uh, trying. As uh, healing spirit, I think it was called, mm -hmm. but nothing happens. He just looks. Oh, that's right. And, and Layden and uh, Layden transfers forms back into his uh, dragonborn form, and they all just kind of like look like they ache, like they're not really damaged too much. But oh man, that hurt. I would try to help, but I cannot. I'm sorry. No, but it's fine. Just a little rest will be fine. They're all being like very macho about this. We're fine. It's it's nothing. Ow. Uh, um, insight check. Sure. They're, they're point, lying uh, to their teeth. They are hurting. At this point, um, Squall will come out with um, Ragnus on his shoulder. Followed closely by Jordan. His little pseudo dragon. I can't remember what I named him a while ago. Anyways. That's two pseudo dragons. Where's the third? I mean, oh, are are you referring to Cyrus? Uh, he's not a student dragon anymore, so. Oh. Yeah, technically he's a mini that. dragon. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Have some respect. <laughs> Is Cyrus out there with everyone? So, What's his so, so, reaction to seeing the pseudo dragons. He's judging it silently, of of course. Even the fact that one's on fire. Yeah, he's judging it silently. It's like, hmm. Oh. Zindralov looks at you all and says, 
says, did you see that? Did you see that? I'm did, impressed yeah. with this. It was it's very like, impressive. It was almost like my open giant foot came crashing down on people. Congrats. Well, apparently, you're the only one that was impressed. Well, except for these three. They seem to actually be impressed, even though they're hurting. I'm sure. Ah, oh, good, really sir. Good. I have just gotten him, so I don't see anything. Do it again. <laughs> well, all you have to do is... um. Go stand over there, and Vindalov will um, cast a spell. Oh, I'm 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 not sure. But, I mean, I, I suppose if you want to, like, just over there. And Layden's like, oh, just stand here. And he positions to you where he just was, um, and right there, and Catherine everything will be fine. Okay. Catherick would just go back to where he was standing before pick up like a bread from the ground and eat it and watch i mean i would assume he had actually like had a plate <laughs> yeah but he they dropped missed. it oh. clap so... So, uh, okay so do a saving throw sorry i need you to make a strength saving throw all right and since ragnus is with me i have advantage Uh, 14. He's like, I'm sorry. That's a good one. Uh, you, so you, you did 14? Okay. Yeah. Take 27 uh, points I, of, of damage, and uh, you actually uh, end up being prone. You see this, you look, you, you look up, and you see the bottom of this giant loxodon foot come Come moving down. It seems it seems to be a little more solid or something than the last time, Catherick. <laughs> and uh, and it comes crashing down and uh, knocks Squall prone, and he takes twenty seven points of uh, force damage. Uh, meanwhile, uh, for it, when the image of the foot disappears, uh, the pseudo dragon has disappeared. I forgot about that. Um, um so then I'll, is trying to hide a smile. Hold on. Uh, Jordan is standing to the side, uh, chuckling. Just squall have a hand, like uh, just have a thumbs up, like that. That, that that's a good thing to remember. He'll um hit the ground and um. Use his elemental gift, and then he'll just float back up onto his feet. Are you okay? Oh, that was fan. That hurt a bit, but that was fantastic. Oh shit! Ragnar's went away. God, I this is something new. I gotta take care of. I gotta get used to this. I'll be back. <laughs> Uh, before you leave, uh, uh, you feel as this healing wave uh, goes through Blade and Denork and Vamoon and you, and you all heal up by 31 points. Oh, actually, you wouldn't have been able to cast it that high. Zendalov met again. By 26 points. So I'll go back and spend another hour recasting Find Familiar. <laughs> when he right. gets, when Ryan Ryder just comes back, he's going to be a little pissed. Just be like, sorry. This is very new to me. He, he He's giving you this emotions like he was annoyed. Like, it, he he's like, 
the sense that you get is next time you do something like that, don't bring me with. <laughs> Just have me stand up to the side. Feet away. <laughs> well, you probably have to be a little further in this case, but still. <laughs> What's the range? Oh, a cylinder of 30 feet. Uh, yeah. Um, I apologize, little buddy. All right, let You know what? Let's go get you something to eat. You like meat? <laughs> Me too. You take that as a yes. I guess I'll get a sense of, uh, like, pleased. Like, yes. Yeah. Because he can convey simple emotions. Mm -hmm. Cyrus and Zindalov and who who was all here when Kethrick joined? Like the group, like in the beginning. I I know it was Cyrus and Zindalov and Kriv. And Federico. Gizli and Yesen. So, is Frederica here? Yeah, she's she's around. Oh, Player okay. not here, but but uh, she's around. I don't know. She might be like babying her boy. <laughs> yeah, I'll try my best to stay away from her. Still. An hour later, uh, Squall will come back. It's like, all right, th this is, I was, I got to remember to watch out for that next time. Okay, so wasn't there a council meeting we had to attend to? Uh, yes. Um, yeah, we, yes, the, the, I'm not sure when that, if that is, um, uh, do you know? Uh, uh, Leon should no. He should be around soon. Um, he's going to communicate what's happening with the uh, uh, with us, and um, he, he just trying to work on passing the torch. And he'll let, uh, well, you'll be introduced to the uh, council um, if you're willing to to stick around and join the uh, Pyre of Faith on the adventure. Uh, yes, I actually, uh, I am. I will be joining. I'll be sticking around for a bit. My benefactor said it'd be a good idea for me to stick around. And uh, just as, as that happens, uh, Frederica and Boy and Leon uh, come out. And what's been going on? And the moon says, says, uh, uh, Zinderlob was just showing us a new spell called Celestial Stomp. It's a crushing. The it's undefeated. very impressive. Don't I have a drum? Come on, I have a drum. Uh, Rourke and, and Leiden uh, uh, chuckle, uh, and Bamoon chuckle at that. And Zidralov explains his spell to uh, uh, Leon. He says, and what's even better, it's only to those that I would deem an enemy. So I can actually do it around my friends, and my friends wouldn't be affected. But, huh, that's a very interesting spell. It takes a lot of energy, but... But it gives me something to me. Uh, in any case, uh, the council meeting will be uh, this afternoon. Uh, you'll meet them, with them and uh, give a report on what happened in the Misty Forest, as well as uh, with your council with the with the Metallics. And they may have some new missions for you. Guys, we died. Well, that will probably have to be mentioned in the update. Uh, from my understanding, Kriv will no longer be joining you on your 
taken care of the keepers. Kethrick just started kind of freaking out about the fact that he just died and came back to life. No one's bothered about it. I mean, you're back. That's a nice thing about having a patron, especially with one with powerful friends. Death is not always something that, that's permanent. Okay. Um, oh, I totally forgot a dream sequence. I'll do that at a different time. Anyway. So you, you basically have the morning. I'm have breakfast, go brunch. Gonna go hunting. Yep. I'm going to. Oh, I still have some stuff in here that needs to get split off. Uh huh. I'm going to go to court. Mm -hmm. And uh, give back the cloak of protection. Okay. And see if about the slippers of spider climbing. Or spider climbing. Alright. He uh, goes to one of his doors. This one says uh, feet. He opens it up, and you see this like row of various different sizes of, of boxes. And, and he walks along, and he goes, ah, here it is. And he quickly grabs a ladder, moves it on over, climbs up it, and pulls out a box from the side. And uh, climbs down, and he gestures to a, a little stool. It says, here, try these on. Thank you. And uh, you open them up, and they seem to be like just these slip-on pairs of shoes. And they're just like white canvas. But when you put them on, they feel like very silky. And it just fits snugly around your feet. Obviously, if you would like them in a different type of color or some style, let me know. Definitely uh, get that that customized for you. Yeah, trying to go with how my picture looks, so it's like a pair of uh, black boots. He says, well, I can't change the shape, but I can change the color. I mean, he does oh. a, a little ink presentation and you go from black white to totally black fine. uh he does the incantation and they go white from black but for some reason like just the bottom of the soles seem to have this like pattern as if fire is creeping up on it oh that's odd very nice huh? Yeah, I didn't do that. It just was trying to color in black. At uh, one point, Squall would have talked to Kriv and gotten the whole gist of everything. Mm -hmm. And Kriv would have handed Squall his bag of holding. Gone. All right. Inventory. Yeah, I got some stuff that needs to go. Okay, so um, Hire Mall, are you are you gonna just like hold on to it until you guys give everything back for Kriv? Yeah, Kriv's gonna hold on to his equipment as is. All right. Uh, is anybody taking the Titan Snow Knuckle? I know Fitch was using them. Yeah. I don't. The only person that possibly could benefit from that, I would think is sister. So. 
So oh. Frederica, maybe. Yeah. By the way, um, I'm giving back the fuck. What the hell did I just do? Um. Uh. The, what? Jesus. I'm sorry. Uh. Oh. Okay. I'm giving back the um. Phoenix mantle. I think it was called. Mantle. Mantle of the, the Phoenix. Phoenix. And uh, I was on the list, but I did something, so okay. I need to get back to the list. So I'll get back to you. <laughs> uh, uh, Zindralov will actually go ahead and take that. Uh, well, Squall will go ahead and look through everything, see that there's actually a sack of coins in here, um, and distribute it out to everyone. And then it says I have a gold statuette in the form of Tiamat, but I don't have a price point on that. Probably because you haven't sold it. Or well, attempted to sell a statue of Tiamat. I'm just going through your things. Yeah, Layden, so. if you show it to Layden, Layden will be like, oh, I could probably melt this down. 500 gold bar. Yeah, we'll do. He, he, he uh, goes into, he goes to, to the forge. Uh, he actually is like off like a good portion of his armor. Um, he can, unlike his papa, uh, he's ripped, um, but not, but, you know, he's got the six pack. So he's more of the, the toned, ripped sort of, uh, uh, dragonborn in his dragonborn form. And he'll melt it down and, uh, uh, form it into a bar. It'll take a couple hours for him to do that though. Yeah. Um. At one point, once that's done, um, everyone will get this. And that's including Zim? What? That includes Zindralov? Yeah, it's for five people. So, I have sister. More than five gold now. <laughs> well, um. Make sure to make a note of that so that, uh, so that, uh, Jordan can put that on sister sheet. Anything else that you would like to do before council meeting? Um, I'm trying to find something that would uh, help Catherick, but so much I gold don't and don't know what to do with it. Any shop that will give you any everything for anything, almost anything for free. I don't want to need to find the the robes. I'm not very familiar with uh magic items. I was going off of the list of um artifacts, but. Nothing really there that I could use, or... Yeah, I think a Venthris... I mean, you could use the Deathwalker's Ward. No, I have that. Uh, Squall has that. Oh, Squall has it. 
Uh, Maroon Finitis is always with Cyrus. Um, oh, you're a rogue now. Um, ranged rogue. Ranged rogue. Ranged. Um, there's the those one gloves that um Roland. Oh, had. They gave me a gun. Oh yeah. Because boy has Darkness. the tinker tool. He has the uh, infiltrator's key. Okay. Into the prison. Draw gloves. Quick draw yeah. gloves. Which gives you access to uh, the long shot pistol and the uh, quick shot, or the long shot rifle and the quick shot pistol. Which I think you need to awaken. It's no one's used those since Roland's been gone. So if you want to use guns. I don't think Catherick would use guns. Um, yeah, that's fine. You're right. I mean, no, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm you, trying. You can stick with Fentress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can stick with Fentress. Yeah, I still have that too. I'm just going to pick like a regular um, magic item. Okay, that's fine. Uh, could we just go ahead and do what we need to do, and I'll tell you. Head to water deep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can think about it. All right. So, hop it on some mounts or flying, in the case of um, uh, Cyrus, or maybe Cyrus is riding with Cinderloff. I don't know how he, how he wants to get around. I'll fly myself. You you make a the jaunt into Waterdeep and towards where the council is going to be taken uh, start. Uh, the council chambers are starting to be put together. Um, have your normal cast characters. Which uh, include Leosin, um, uh, Antharfrum, is with the Lady Silverhand, uh, Degalt Never Ember, um, Ron Anvil, uh, High King, King Millendrock. Raven Guard, Hornbale, and L. That's just based off of the chart that it was. I'll load it. L and Dark? Yeah, Bill and Dark. Yeah. He's the king of the elves. Uh -huh. From the Misty Forest. Who Catherick uh, had uh, introduced uh, to you all. Or who had introduced Catherick to you all. Uh, along with that, uh, you see Dagalt seems to have brought along uh, uh, someone uh, who they introduced a, a tiefling known as uh, Ryan Nightshade. He's being uh, referred to as a special divisor to the for Ember. That's how you pronounce, uh, spell Ryan. The arm. Uh, 
Uh, Leon seems to talk about the current situation, uh, about what had happened. Um, did uh, uh, Larry L. Uh, she is shocked and um, provides her condolences for the loss of Gizli and is happy that you are safe and back and everything. Um, at that, that's at the moment that uh, Krebus walk, walks into the room with his staff. And he seems to be kind of uh, leaning on it a little bit. And he says, uh, I hope I'm not late. And Leon turns around and goes, Krebus, you did have to come. I, I'm, I'm not leaving for a while now until we get you all set up. Oh, no, I'm, I'm supposed to be here. I need to, to take charge of my official duties. Uh, uh, maybe never ever. May not be as... a uh, uh, well spoken as uh, Leon here, but um, I, I will be taking his his, his place with, uh, as uh, the representative to the Eyes of Io. Uh, I'm the head of the Eyes of Io of Toral. Like, oh well, congratulations. Uh, thank you, sir. Good place to sit. And Leon actually leads Krebus over to a seat. And he says, well, we should probably be get started. And everybody gets into positions, and uh, Larry calls to the council session in order. Um, you hear reports about some of the um, more towns being looted all, all along the Sur Coast. Um, troops movements have been, from the various city states, have been moving around trying to combat. The looting. Uh, thankfully, they haven't seemed to have gone to many of the larger settlements. Um, Daggerford was recently looted, um, and you'll probably notice that there's a uh, that Krebus kind of um, sparks to attention on that, and uh, his face kind of goes a little bit sad. Um, things are getting worse, says Lariel. Says, As to that, there have been some brave efforts from our friends of the Pyre of Faith. Um, I do understand that we do have a new person with us, uh, Squall, I believe your name is? Yes, yes, hello, uh, thank you. And I believe that you have a report about um, your adventures in the Misty Forest and uh, also your count your meeting with the Metallic Dragons. Uh, so I'll go ahead and kind of look at everyone and just be like, should, should I talk? Like, I can do this. Like, Frederick is like, she's like, I'll go. And then Having been spoken to Kriv, uh, you have been told don't let Frederica speak. Like, uh, 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 okay, okay, I'll take care of this. Go take care of this. All right, let's go ahead. Um, step up, but like, yes, yes. Um, I'm not sure. Like, obviously, I am new here, but uh, I did speak with Kriv this morning, and he kind of got me up to date on everything and all. Um. And go ahead and kind of, like, I'll go ahead and start to explain what I know of what happened in the Misty Forest, uh, dealing with the Green Dragon attacks and the fact that it was a uh, warm speaker from the Cult of the Dragons that was on top of it and all the stuff that was dealing with it. And uh, the fact that one of the so called mayors of the one town was actually giving out information to the cult of the dragons on where places like where it should attack and everything you the melindrak well normally is a very composed man uh Catherick would definitely have noticed that as you are making this full report, his face is turning red with anger. 
he he sits there and is just clutching clutching his arms with his arms crossed and just his eyes are in just like cold fury. Although you probably it? this is the King, king. Melindrak, the uh king of the Misty Forest. The Delph. Delph, okay. Um yeah. I'm gonna uh poke uh Cyrus and uh just point point to the uh, elf guy. So you see, as Squall is recounting this tale, uh, Cyrus, that uh, uh, Melindrak, the the elfish king, um, who's the king of the Misty Forest, where you were doing all this, is furious. Did uh, Squall say something that might have might explain? No. Well, I did say about how the one mayor was uh, giving out information. I believe part of your information was the fact of the identity of the leader of the Cult of the Dragon in the Misty Forest, Nurobane, who was the son of King Melindrak. There's that too. <laughs> Um, and then after we came to that, to be like, then um, I was told about this council of the metallics that they met, and that they had a few dem um, concessions uh, that could be made on behalf of the council here for them to actually help us out against the Cult of the Dragons, and then I'll go ahead and use um, Minor Illusion to uh, conjure up a piece of paper. Like, I'm about to read off the stuff. Mm -hmm. um, from uh, two things that they asked of that could be possibly given, like, could be helped from the Council of Waterdeep is one, an apology from the dwarves, possibly Ronaville? Um, from regards from the deaths that are at the hands of the dragon moots and returns of the remains of any of the white dragon or the silver dragons that they slain. Um, there was that, and then another thing. Uh, all of a sudden, I'll look up and try to find who else is. So Melodrack you do, is. you you do well. You do notice that um, uh, Braun Anvil uh, is looking very angry, and he he stops. He says, "That will definitely not happen. That happened centuries ago. Oh, and we still have that armor." All of it has been put in armor and to save many a dwarf. I, 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 understand, I understand that, sir. And, my lord, I am so, or, I, I am sorry. Uh, this is just what they said. Um, just any possible remains, even if it's, like, they don't have to be the seals themselves. They could be the, from what I heard, they just want the remains returned, so possibly the skeleton or whatever there still is of the dragon returned. And then we would have the silver dragons on our side to help. Um, plus an apology from everything in regards from the dragon moats. <sighs> if there's any way you can help us, sir, to help, to make this accomplished, this is a great feat for us to have to help us in this vast endeavors to, to have each of the different representations of the chromat or the metallic dragons helping us fight against the cult. Dragons um, on our side is always great advantage. Or actually this will probably equal out because they'll probably have dragons of their own. Roll me a persuasion check. Uh, five, so, uh, 15. 15. 
Uh, she won't. She won't be getting an apology from me. That's for sure. Maybe I'll speak with my people. What they th- said. We weren't the ones who did it. Oh, as as I said, that was centuries ago. We haven't I, had I, a dragon moot in a long time. I understand, but from my understandings. Dragons' memories and grudges can last a while, and even though it might be centuries for you, that is just a drop of a coin in the vastness that is a dragon's lifespan. So, time. What else? Uh, then all of a sudden he'll look at a paper like, oh, okay, okay. Um, then, um, be oh my goodness, uh, once uh, one of the dragons request a formal apology from the elven kind, uh, possibly for Belendrath, uh, for the Drakenrage myth, uh, Mithral, uh, what happened there. Uh, I believe that was the copper dragons requested. That was, that was the gold one, huh? That was the gold, gold. one. Uh, you would have been given accurate information. <laughs> yes. Uh, the Gold Dragons um, requested that apology from the Elven Kind, sir, to then they will back us up on this endeavor as well. The first thing I hear is that my son has betrayed us by joining this cult of a dragon. Fortunately, killed him. Oh, yes. Can't believe such happened. And now you ask me to to answer in regards to an archaic device from centuries ago. <sighs> uh, again, my lord, this is just something that the gold dragons requested of us. Again, I know this is centuries ago, but you too must understand that this is just a cone drive in their memories. This could possibly for them just feel like it was just yesterday. Only another persuasion check. By the way, any of you, if any of you want to uh, assist him, you're very welcome to claim that. I'm just not going to ask you about that. You have um, a plus 10 in this thing, so advantage uh, would be nice. Um, how, how about a one of those, uh, not a counter proposal, but something that you get out of it as well a compromise uh, the, the, the... Uh... so you're gonna help me out uh... Uh, unless that wasn't good enough uh, I wouldn't uh... say that would be good enough for to, to, to provide help Sindra Love will throw it as like Sir, in this case it is only an apology uh, well, yes, you were not the ones. You can definitely sympathize for what may have happened years ago. I'm not familiar with this Dragon Rage mythal, but if it's if this happened centuries ago and it was your forefathers, an apology, which is mostly words, and sympathy for for those who receive it, would definitely be amenable and. You don't have to return anything, un- unlike Ron on will. And, and that will give you advantage. Uh, 23. Okay. King Melodrak is like, I suppose you're right. It was a bit of a tragedy. Yeah, I'll do it. I like it, but I'll do it. Thank you, sir, so much. It, and then I'll turn back to Brana, though. Is like, my lord, is there anything that can be done on our behalf to help you possibly come to the concession that this... I understand you said you personally won't. I know they were kind of favorable of having it come from you. Is there anything that we could do to help persuade, to uh, persuade, no, I would never try to persuade you, sir, but to cushion the 
the effect that this has on you. I will have on you. Again, this is just, like, it, you do have to return some stuff, but even if the words aren't truly meant for this, just words. Well, King Belladrak does have, uh, have a point there. Uh, we will let her know that we will discuss the specifics on what remains she is looking for. Obviously, any remains that is not already made in armor, armor we could see about getting returned. Uh, however, the armor we would request to keep. Uh, I believe this would be a discussion uh, require further discussion. So that's that kind of like very, a tentative. I understand that, sir, and that is very amenable to this. Um, from my knowledge, the the fact that there was I can't remember, I already forgot if she said that she wanted the scales returned, everything returned, or just the re or return of remains, the remains. So there, was, like that's kind of a vagueness to it. She just said she demands the re remains to be returned. So yes, uh, so there, there, the fact is that she was just the remains. So even if it's just the bones or anything, nothing to say that the armor has to be returned. But what is laying around still at this time? Because I'm guessing there's still a value to sometimes the people. Uh, the trophies are still around. I see them in, in places. I'd never been fond of them myself, but a lot of influential people. But just the simple consideration of this is a great thing for us, sir. Again, this is having all of the silver dragons backing us up when we go up against these these foes. All right. Did they have anything else? Um, if, if uh, most of it is other things that um, us, the pirates of faith, are taken care of. Um, if by chance you might like, one of them was the fact of an expensive magical item. If either, if someone has one laying around, it wasn't very specific. It just has to be a, a shiny magical item. But then I think I was the common dragon. Like oh, is that it? Was uh, L'Oreal still your hand? Yes. I might have something. Otherwise, everything else that those were those are the things. Everything else we, the pyres of faith, are able to take care of, or have taken, or will be taken care. Of. Uh, you look at the list and notice that the, you're promising the dragon masks. Yeah, return. Yeah, the return of the dragon mask. I am. I am very much like they, not not telling them hanging. about that. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, it's like, fun I, to make I, sure. in here. I was like, that is just not being discussed at all. So Frederica is definitely not talking during this entire thing. Hmm. What's happening? Uh, 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 we're currently in How the middle you? of the council session. Where did you come Hello. from? And instead of, and, and instead of me uh, trying to uh, roleplay you, I just uh, uh, am stating that you have been strictly forbidden from talking during the council show. <laughs> Grave told Squall, uh, Squall not to let you talk. And uh, we, we've gotten the, uh, the dwarves and the elves to, or at least the elves to make their apology, and the dwarves are making the apology, but are going to look about uh, returning the remains. So... We got, we're making progress, and someone else is going to help us out with a possible expensive magical item that so doesn't actually have to come from us. Shiny. Yes. Shiny magic item. Hey, when? Yeah. AKA expensive. <laughs> um, I found a magic item that I have interest in. Um, What's that item? Papal's Mount Bank. Yeah, you guys have one of those. Awesome. 
Hey, sister and you are gonna have one. Um, yeah, that's the problem. Is there's only one. Oh fuck. Okay, never mind. Although his sister, his sister's, his sister interested in the Titan Stone Knuckles oh. up for grabs. Yes, yes. Right. Take them on. Take them on things. <laughs> you sound tired. I'm a bit drunk. Oh. Okay. Like I said earlier, today is, it's, it's like our 4th of July. Yeah, you typed holy day, so I was like, huh? I, I and I was like, holiday since you said like our 4th of July. <laughs> yeah, you said that, and I'm, I was just confused on why do you think the 4th of July is a high holy day, but <laughs> I just uh, let it go. That works. <laughs> you understood. Uh, did you ask for the dragons? Yep, yeah, we just we just uh, uh, went yeah, through we the thing. Yeah. Right. Um, Squall was a Squall and um, Zen were able to convince them to help uh, the have the dwarves and the elven kind kind of do what we asked of them. No, the, 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 the small ones, babies. Uh, for them for them to have access to uh. To uh, Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate, Waterdeep, Water Deep. Water Deep. Water Deep. Oh, we we haven't yet. Oh. I didn't know that was a thing. Well, uh, there at least one of them's not much of a baby anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and he's staying at the he's staying at the compound to help out with stuff. Yeah, but still, they they should be granted. Um, uh, I think that might. That might be something for just to discuss with Lariel, uh, since she's uh, the open lord of Waterdeep. Um, probably not in the midst of the uh, council session. Oh, oh okay. So that's so fine. were we trading the cape? Yeah, you get the cape, uh, the cape of Mount back, and then Sister is getting the Titan Stone Knuckles. Okay. What does the Titan Stone they do again? Uh, uh, they, they make you a lot strength. stronger, give you siege, uh, and you can cast in large. Oh, that's good. They're the knuckles that uh, um, easily had. All right, oh. right. Um. It was hey. Grog. <laughs> it was Grog, then Gizly, <laughs> then Kethrick. Or not, Catholic Fitch had it, <laughs> and now they're over at Frederica. I actually watched that episode the other day. Is Fitch still going for a uh, hold breaker? Yeah, uh, no. okay. Uh, Fitch, Fitch is currently on on uh, pilgrimage still. Although he's already broken the oath, so yeah, he's in a breaker. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. You don't know the book the the that was he broke, <laughs> but he's not around. He, he okay. was he was he's a definitely a temporary character in that. Okay, so it's key trick was staying. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Squall is the right. only one, Squall is the only one that's changed. Okay. Okay. Um. So yeah, sister probably just gonna talk because I don't have all my mind right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, sounds like it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm listening. All right. Um, All right. Now that we've had old business, or did you have anything else to cover? Um, no, it's going to be hard to find it. But I want to see if someone around in Waterdeep has the robes of the Arch Magi. Okay, that's uh, that's something else. We're still in the middle of the council session. Oh, I, I thought you were saying like now that we're done with that. Uh, I no, this is council. this is. We're we're going from old business to new business. Oh, okay. Uh, so okay. he's asking before we transition to new business. Is there any other old business that you wanted to cover? Um, did we talk about uh, did yeah. that some point was uh supposed to get a chromatic dragon? 
something. Yeah, we we got the yeah the breath sack. Uh, we cut we took that from the green dragon and um delivered that to Elia. Okay. So you, right. we already took it. Yeah. We already so took you. It out of, yeah, you gave it to Elia, who delivered it to to yeah. Nimoa, who was the uh, eccentric bronze dragon. Okay. Who all he wanted yeah, was a breath sack from the next dragon that you killed, and no, you couldn't have already killed the dragon. You had to kill another one in order to, and give him that one. Um, Kribus uh, stands up. Uh, I just want to let you know. Um, one thing that uh, uh, we're going to communicate to them to see if we can help with uh, get their cooperation. Uh, my my son Layden is going to be dedicating the Sanctum of Eyes uh, as a uh, sanctuary uh, for the Order of Bahamut. Uh, we believe that will be uh, that will be a boom to getting their cooperation. I, I just found about about this like like you order you guys already left, but he said he'd he'd help out with that. Oh my god, I'm gonna sit down again. And he sits back down. It's okay, old man. He's still tired. Uh, all right. Uh, on to new business. Yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna drop out for tonight. I have a migraine coming on, and my oh, room is no! really hot. So I, I, I haven't been able to focus on anything at all tonight. So I think I'd rather just start over where we. Me this too. Sunday. <laughs> That's... I'm, I'm kind of, I'm not following along with what's happening. I'm trying to, but it's really difficult. Yeah. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just gonna go to go to bed. We're we're, we're gonna uh, we're gonna just do the council session and wrap up. Yeah, and I'll I'll yeah. let you know what happens uh, tomorrow. Yeah, and and plus, there'll be a vod. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm just. Uh, oh, you're good. All right. Well, all right. Have a good night. Thanks night. for playing. Bye. Bye. Uh, new business. So basically, we're gonna get get you your new missions. Uh, at the summit. Um. The information is provided to you that a senior member of the Cult of the Dragon is seeking to defect from the group. And uh, the cultists are offering one of the dragon masks as part of his plea for aid. So the offer could be a trap. As, a, uh, as um, Leosin suspects. Uh, the council uh, would like you to that this would be definitely be worth it to, to help fight the the dragon. Uh, you've been informed that the um, the factor is holed up in a fortress known as Zanthal's Tower, which was recently taken over by the cult. But of course, this was a cultist, so they just be hiding in plain sight per se. Uh, they believe that the Pyre of Faith would have a better chance of. Uh, Rescuing him than um, having a larger force go and investigate. Uh, in addition, uh, with the uh, reporting that there were some um, Red Wizards of Thay that were taking part in this, the plans to summon Tiamat. Uh, especially with with you had reported that um, you had run into a couple of them previously. That these are definitely not ones who are. They're from Thay, but they're probably exiles at this point in time. Um, they they in red wizards, the actual red wizards, they. Uh, had approached the council asking to have an envoy sent to Thay where they might convince the most reviled <laughs> wizards in Faerun to join with the forces of the Sword Coast for a common good. So, basically, the Thayans basically want to join, want to get you guys to help them 
Possibly. Maybe. Yeah, we're not sure. But come and discuss the possibility that you'd help them uh, take out these exiles. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> hey! Is there a possibility that uh that what is he called? Bone Demon is is still in this world? You don't know. Last time you saw him was at that tent. Okay. And he was a devil. Ah. Very in the world of D D, devils and demons are very different things. Both evil, but that's about it. That's about the, where the similarities end. Okay. So that uh, with that, the uh, end of the session comes in, and I'm um, I'm assuming Frederica probably approaches uh, Lariel to see about having. Uh, yeah. Getting access to your babies? Yeah. Yeah. They, okay. Uh, we have uh we we have um dragonlings that are helping the cause. Um one which is uh always by my side. Uh I need him to be uh with me in this city. Uh I'm going to need uh, authorization, I think. Uh, uh, uh comes up, uh, helps us. Uh, yeah, uh, it, there's three of them. There's uh, my son, Layden. Uh, uh, Kreeb Kre Kre hatched him, and now he's like a golden black uh, uh, dragon. Uh, um, he's a little bit older right now because of situations. Like, like we told you the whole thing about about me being kidnapped and then Crib going to save me and then then he died in the process and then then I went and, and did a thing to save him. Well part of that was me and Layden went around for like a thousand years hunting down somebody and when we came back to resurrect him, uh we were a thousand years older. So which is one of the reasons why I feel so much older than I, I actually look. And uh uh Layden's now an ancient uh black and gold dragon. Um and uh, uh, Cyrus ha has an daughter uh, named Lemon, um, uh, sometimes for his Kota. And uh, she's got a necklace from Candlekeep, which allows her to be in Dragonborn form. So with the restriction that maybe they stay in their shape-changed forms, uh, such as uh, uh, with Frederica here, uh, he's, he stays in a Vidalk and uh, uh, a boy form, but just like her, but smaller um, and, and male. Uh, it, it, that would just be uh, much help. Uh, I do know Lem doesn't really come here very often, but uh, Layden might be coming for me, uh, coming with me whenever I come into town. And Larry L says, hmm. "I would like to meet them." Huh. Um. Do you want to meet them now? I mean, not necessarily. Maybe maybe a little bit later tonight, or um, even tomorrow, depending on when you are leaving to, to travel on one of your missions. Come tonight uh, at the eyes of I.O. They're all going to be there. Excellent. Uh, I have some business in town, but I will see you this evening. Perfect. And off you go. Um, yeah, so... You guys got a, got a decision to make. Either you're going to go see if you can acquire a dragon mask. How can you? Uh, or if you would like to travel to say. And you also may have dinner with L'Oreal Silverhand, where she's coming to meet the dragon children. And I think with that is the perfect to end unless you have some things you want to wrap up with. There is that the one item I want to try to find. Oh, okay. Uh, you're looking for a robe of the Archmage? 
hard, but yeah. Good luck. <laughs> but say, I know it's investigation. Um, would a twenty-five make it? That's the highest possible I can get. No, it's like a very rare. A robo of, of the Arch Magi? Yeah. No, that's... Yeah, it's not very rare. Nope. No, it's a legendary. Oh. Huh. So that would... It, it, 25 wouldn't do it. Um. I've never said the DC. No. You can but I want to try to find... I want to try to find that and the um rod of the pack uh pack keeper plus three. All right, you, you can uh, uh roll an investigation check, one for each one. Uh, fourteen, which would be for the robes. Fourteen total. Yeah. Nope. Can't find those. Twenty for thirty twenty for the um rod. I... No, you do find some rods. The it, the only thing is is they're only like plus two. <laughs> oh, which I already, which already have. Oh, I was gonna ask if I could uh like help him in any way. Yeah, sure. I'll let you get advantage on one of those rolls. I'll do the rod. No, uh, no, my other one was better because I was 12. Oh, okay. Sadly not. I have so much money and I don't know what to do with it. Hey, it doesn't help that <laughs> Do I all of a sudden know how to um, uh, no, hold on. Just because I'm a rogue doesn't mean I have criminal contacts. That's that's a background. So never mind. Yeah. yeah. You would have to be a, have a criminal background, or otherwise, I, I think just... that. Yeah. Anything else? Sorry. Uh, I was just gonna say that um, whenever I think of rogue, I think of uh, the background uh, criminal spy. Mm. Yeah. A lot of times they go like people will do those hand in hand. I'm gonna speak to some uh, squirrels. Um, to try to find uh. Possible leads to uh, some rods. I'm just kidding. Do you have speak with animals still? Oh no, <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> so, you, so you did try. It didn't work, but you did try. You, you just talked to a squirrel, and just that's it. <laughs> it did. Yeah, it it didn't really seem to respond. It seemed to run away, actually. Like you, you couldn't even get close to it. <laughs> You know, um, I don't have anything else okay. that I want to do. All right. So the question will be, so I can prepare probably. Um, uh, it, we, you can do it offline too. Discuss it amongst yourselves. Uh, where would you like to go? Would you like to uh, go to Zonthal's Tower? Or um, are you going to head off to um, see about becoming an envoy to say? Which is the land of red wizards. Uh, and who is headed by a lich named Daz Tam. We go to the Thay place. What would we be uh, expecting to do or get from there? And beyond boys. Basically you can discuss and, and try to convince them to uh, help join the cause. And, and, you know, kind of like give them, hey. This is the reason why it's beneficial for you because you know what? There's a bunch of these red wizards that are essentially giving you bad names. 
and the. Uh, I mean, you could spin it that way, or just you know whatever. Anyways, the Council of Waterdeep wants you to try to convince Santa to kind of help. And the other one was to get a dragon mask. Uh, one of the um, warm speaker, uh, like senior members of the Cult of the Dragon, wants to defect, basically, and he's bargaining at one of the masks. Maybe we should go. I would think. You're voting Faye. Well, I I don't I don't I'm not really. What sure. are the options? Uh, go uh, meet up at a tower with a senior member of the Cult of the Dragon, who is trying to defect, and is offering a um, dragon mask as kind of like a incentivizer or travel to Thay and um, try to convince the red wizards of Thay to join us. Okay. So I'm, I'm gonna their exiles. Why, why can't we do both? Well you can yeah, it's just... the part. Well we're gonna be doing both, but we gotta do one or the other first. Well the 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 mask first then yeah, so that's what um, I'm voting for too. I, I totally miss, uh, pretty much misread what the uh, dragon mask was for. So yeah, let's let's do that. Yeah, the it's dragon definitely mask. Definitely not the trap. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'll let you like. Uh, fully discussed. It sounds like we're going to Zontal's Tower to begin with. Yeah. Um. The, possibly just thinking. Oh, we better get to him as soon as possible. Yeah. Cult. The cults are there, and he's trying to defect. So we will be heading to Zontal's Tower's next session. Inside preparing. Yay. Yay. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll, do, we'll try doing another one on, uh, Sunday, Frederica, if you can pop in. Great. If not, um, what, what time Inside. is it at? Eight, eight, our like seven, your time. What? Uh, we're actually going to do, it, it would have to be the morning because we're, we're recording COL in the evening or oh, we could just morning. not do I, Sunday. It's the, the way you're the, saying it is that. Like, so that's that the way it came off was that we're doing um the the original intent was to start Sunday nights on the fourth. Because I have one more rec okay. yeah, I have one more recording of COL at night. And then uh after that uh we'll be recording COL in the morning because uh they will want to record C C O L D R in the evening. Okay. And I think in the evening and Sunday, yeah, unless we just want to just not. Anyways, I'm going to actually stop the stream. So go, bye, folks. Visit YouTube.com slash comes out loud to watch the rest of these videos. Bye. Bye. -bye.